keys to the car. And I will tell you this from the title, if you clicked on because you thought this was a B-Love bashing video, it is definitely not because I love B-Love and I actually started my channel because of her. Falls Park is looking gorgeous this evening. Happy Vlogmas, everyone. I know you can see our downtown city lights. I have been down here walking and clearing my lungs in the nice cool air. I don't know why I'm sing song in that, but I have a tendency to sing song anyway. So I kind of waited late to start. Well, y'all know that anyway. Y'all already know that. Let me cross the street. Don't you look pretty? <laughs> she looks so, y'all gotta look pretty. <laughs> oh. oh, the guys wanted to up the rest of, I guess that's the wedding party, wanted me to get them on YouTube, but they just finished their pictures and they're leaving. I'll try to get them when I go back. So uh, we were going to talk out here, but I think we better go back to the car because it's freezing and it got dark so quick. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, y'all get on my YouTube video. Oh, it's a YouTube video for real? Yes. If you so get famous, don't up? forget about it. Hey, Jill, it's for yeah, a party. Who's that? The girl in the yeah, yeah, that's one right here. This one. Well, y'all look gorgeous. Thank you. Hey, so y'all have to. He ripped it, man. Why you do that? <laughs> 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 when we first met her fans. See, I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say his pants were tight. <laughs> I wasn't going to bring it up. If he brought it up, you might want to listen to those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The guys were so nice to get in the video. I know they don't think they're going to be part of this type of video, but I'm sure once they get past themselves, they'll click off. <laughs> they will click off. But anyway, I'm almost to the car. I will tell you this from the title. If you clicked on because you thought this was a B-Love bashing video, it is definitely not because I love B-Love and I actually started my channel because of her. So this is not what that's about. You wanna take a picture? You wanna see the people? Hey everybody, this is Gotti. The camera is this way, poop poop. Say hey to the people. Say hey. He cannot stay in the camera. This is how he acts all the time. When the camera gets to, uh, comes out, he looks the other way. But back to what we were discussing. Um, I am a B love. I do love B love. I found her probably. I'm gonna say last year about this time. I normally fast twice a year. And when I was fasting, for some reason, I found Mukbang channels, which are channels I've been watching YouTube forever, but they're not channels that I have, you know, actively watched. I didn't even know they were big like that. And I came across B-Love's channel and I started watching her and then other Mukbangers um, because it helps you through your fast. Like if you see other people eating, it helps you through your fast. So, um, I ran across her video, I don't know how long ago that's been, sometime before the summer where it had gone back to her beginning and it was suggested to me and she was talking about how to start your channel and all of that. So I was like, oh yeah. So I kept thinking about it. I waited all the way to July 28th, I think, before I actually decided to start my channel. And so that's kind of the background. And I do love the Mukbang community, but it just does not work for me. I have gained a ton of weight. I'm not gonna blame it all on doing Mukbangs. This head is hot, y'all. I'm not gonna blame it all on doing Mukbangs, 
but um, the additional weight didn't come till I was doing those. So I started to kind of step away from it. And uh, that's when I started doing mostly the travel videos and um, just trying to vlog because I was going to take the channel into that direction. But when I saw the uh, chicken leg challenge, I said, oh, because it's B-Love. I love B-Love. So I said, well, I'm going to participate in this challenge. And I'll participate in some of her challenges later down the line. Just, you know, I'm going to have to clean up my act as far as my food and get my weight back to my fighting weight but um i participated in that of course i could not eat a lot i'll put her video my video somebody's video so you'll know what i'm talking about and then um i saw the challenge today for the quadruple burgers and i thought i actually thought i said oh i should do that and every day i'm starting my cleanse and I don't do it, so. But that one right there, I said, uh-uh, uh-uh. Cause I had, I did a seafood mukbang yesterday for Vlogmas, my Vlogmas mukbang. And I was like, I'm feeling kinda awful. I've just gained way too much weight, eating the wrong stuff. And just to give you a little background, I kinda uh, started eating healthy and being all into the health kick. Well, I guess I was about 19 or 20, so I did the, um, I was vegan, um, vegetarian, vegan, um, I've always fasted since about that age, so I fast for health and religious reasons. My shortest fast, of course, is like a day. My longest fast, I did uh, two years ago or three years ago, and it was 22 days. So I do believe in fasting. So I'm gonna switch my Vlogmas this year. Well, this is my first year doing Vlogmas, but I'm gonna switch it to more of um, my weight loss cleanse journey, getting back on track to where I was. And along the way, I'll kind of give some background. And I think uh, for right now, I'm gonna start out with a fast. Yes. It'll be probably three to seven days. So I'll keep you updated on that. But I just have to get my act together. I'll still watch the uh, mukbangs and um, we'll finish up at the house. I'm actually at my mom's, this tree we always put here at my mom's. So um, I see here other people coming in so I won't really be able to finish the video like I want to. So I will finish at the house, y'all. You gonna say bye, Gotti? Say bye, people. <laughs> May ran home. Hey, how y'all doing? It's Vlogmas, so you have to tell everybody happy Vlogmas. Vlogmas? Vlog. Vlogmas? <laughs> you know she gonna be silly with it. Vlogmas? That's not how you say it. V V Log Moss Christmas <laughs> Still still they still not gonna do it right, y'all. Oh, I rock puff and stuff with my Afro puffs with your bad said. That was my song, y'all. Okay, guys, I'm finally home. I called myself. I didn't mean for this video to go this long before we really got into the nitty gritty. So I won't make it long because a lot of this information will be in my subsequent videos for Vlogmas. But I tried to make the video cute and not be in the same places every single time. But with all the, it was just too much going on. But let me get back to it. So I did tell you that when I was um, about 19, 20 years old, I started getting into uh, veganism, vegetarian. I was vegetarian first and then vegan. And I've kind of bounced through all of that. As I got older, I got into uh, no carbs. For my body, I'm not a doctor, so this is just for my body. No sugar works wonderfully for me. 
Um, if I am going to eat sugar, and I, and I forgot to tell you that I did do a year as a raw vegan. So uh, it's about a year, maybe a little over a year, I was raw vegan. At that time, oh my goodness, my skin was the most gorgeous, like everything was perfect. So once I broke it, and I did read later on down the line, once you break it, it's so much harder to like jump back on the bandwagon. And I did already tell you, I believe in fasting. So I've done that and um, I guess I didn't start gaining weight till I was about 47 and I'm 50 now. And so, you know, I thought I probably, you know, people tell you when you get 40, you're going to gain weight, yada, yada, yada. But that didn't happen. And so I was like, well, you know, I guess I probably won't. I just ate what I wanted to eat, but it was always like a healthy diet. So when I got about 47, I started eating everything I wanted to eat, drink the wine, um, lunch, brunch. When I'm not working, we would be doing lunch, brunch, uh, breakfast, uh, happy hour, you name it. So the weight came on. And then once I started my mukbang channel, after I watched Be Love and she was telling you how to start a channel, you know, they all say, just get started, yada, yada. And I love YouTube. And so I do thank her for that. And I'm just going to do my weight loss journey and get back to my weight. I am embarrassed about my weight, so I don't know if I'm going to include it in this video or if I'm going to as the... As Vlogmas goes on, I'll do like the weight check-ins. I did do one today, so I might just include them all through the Vlogmas, but I, I don't know. I don't know. But um, I think my plan is because I've tried so many different things, and I think because I had such a clean diet for so many years, my family has a history of uh, medical issues, diabetes, high blood pressure. I'm not on any medicine, even with the weight gain, you know, my blood pressure, everything is still perfect. And so I figured before I run my body into needing medicine, I need to fall back and get myself together. So I'm going to start off with my, my, um, true ride or die and that's fasting like i said i'll do the three to five the three to seven days i'm gonna shoot for the seven because i don't know if i'm ready for the 14 and the 21 22 like i used to do and then um i'll decide if i'm going i'll probably break it if i'm going to do a keto type low carb diet i'll break it with bone broth if i decide that i want to go back to maybe like a raw vegan. Now, I, in all my research, because I do research everything, I've done research after research after for my own personal knowledge and for myself, you know, for years. For me, I don't think, I love raw vegan. I think it's a way to repair your body, um, you know, over the long term, if you're not ready for fasting, but I don't think it's a diet that you stay on for a lifetime. You don't necessarily have to do meat, but I think you need a little bit of everything just to stay healthy. I see some raw vegans um, look great. Like I told you for my little over a year, I was looking most beautiful. And then, um, so I don't have a bad experience with raw vegan but i have seen some because i that's how i started watching youtube was more of the uh, raw vegans and the um the vegans and all the healthy stuff and um some of them kind of look older over time and i think it's the amount of sugar because a lot of them do a lot of fruit juices when i was raw vegan i didn't do much fruit juice at all but that's a whole nother video. Like I said, I'm not trying to, we can do a little bit at a time as we do vlogmas. But um, yeah, I don't want you to think it's anything bad about mukbangs. I love mukbangs. I love food, as you can tell. 
Um, I thank B Love for getting me into YouTube. And but I do love travel and just in general lifestyle vlogging. I love that and I think that's what I'm going to, but I will incorporate mukbangs later down the line. And uh something that what else I was gonna tell you. Oh, in the title. The title, I don't want to hear people talk, because I see people like the first cop out they do or the first negative thing they want to say is clickbait and all this kind of stuff. This is not clickbait. I literally have been thinking of starting my, my um, journey, which I don't look at it like that because I've done this so much during my lifetime that it's just like, a lifestyle thing that I go back to. I've just never gained this much weight. But when I saw the video today, as I said before, before people start, but you know, some people won't even get this far in the video and they already have comments down there saying that. I saw B-Love because I watch her videos every morning and I was like, oh, my first thought, even though my thought yesterday was, okay, you have to get back to eating right, fasting, and doing what you do. My first thought was to go do that quadruple challenge like yesterday, right when I saw, I mean, this morning, right when I saw it, or either tomorrow. And then I had a thing, I'm like, Tracy, that is not what you said that you were going to do. You said you were going to get back on the bandwagon. So, I mean, back on the wagon. I shouldn't say bandwagon, back on the wagon. And so that was literally where this thought came from when I got up this morning and saw that. So that's why it's titled that. Hopefully more people will watch my journey because they may not have seen me if they haven't seen my other challenges. The more people you're accountable to, maybe the better that you'll do. So we shall see. And uh, hopefully you'll come along with me. If you don't, you know, come back once I'm doing the travel and the moot bombs. I am on vacation. And so I won't have a problem with fasting because I'm on vacation till I think the 18th. So I have uh, like a two week vacation before I go back to work. And I go to Honolulu on the 20th. 21st, I think. I think it's the 21st. And then I don't go back to work until I go to Japan on the 29th. I pick that trip up. So I'll meditate on whether I'm going to actually do it or if I'll give it to somebody else. But I have plenty of time. I have plenty of fat not to worry about starving to death. So I don't need the comments where, oh, you got to eat. You don't have to eat. You need to do your research. And one of my one of the channels I really love because he actually made a channel with things that I've already gone through and stuff like that is a healthy alternative. And I'll put his um Chris his link in the description box. But he talks about fasting. He shows other people who have fasted. And I'll tell you one more thing before I go. I know I'm making this video too long. But one thing about fasting is it eats up all of the bad things in your body. So if you have like, say, precancerous, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just telling you, do your own research. But say you have precancerous cells, or if you had scar tissue, or if you had just degenerative cells in your body, as you uh, fast, especially once you get past whatever your body's threshold is, you're past the cleansing stage and now you're going into repair. You are eating up all of that old stuff. So another reason for me wanting to do fasting is because I've never gained this much weight. As I come down, I don't want stretch marks and um, loose skin or anything like that because I don't know what I'll get at the age that I am now. When I was younger, I didn't have to worry about any of that, but I don't even want to take that chance. I don't want a tummy tuck. I'll post surgery unless you, you know, have to have it. So my choice is fasting because that'll keep you from having a loose skin. 
you can go to Chris's channel and you can um, look at his videos. Also, he's interviewed several people who were even bigger and did not get any loose skin because of fasting. But I'm going to shut up. Um, we'll continue through Vlogmas. Think of any other information that I should have included. I included them. I'll try to make them not as long and drawn out. So thank you for watching. I hope you come back for my journey and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.